on, come to lunch. Karen's in the car waiting. She's paying. <laughs> you know, Jack, one of the perks of working, and you'll learn this someday, is that you don't have to do this when somebody buys you lunch. <laughs> Aw, oh, somebody's not happy because somebody has to date a pig. <laughs> That's not funny. It's not, wait, let me think about it just for a minute. Yeah, it's pretty funny. <laughs> yes, I'm having one date with Nathan Barry. M must you find humor in my pain? You know what's going to happen. Mm. What's that? Re, re. <laughs> you and I have very different ideas about what a first date entails. But they all involve the good night kiss. Yeah, well, I can assure you this one will not. Hey, come on, boys, what's the holdup? I only get four hours for lunch. <laughs> Karen, wait a minute, come on in. Will, you want to know how to get through this date? I'll show you. Oh, honey, you still doing the law thing? <laughs> <laughs> honey, you still doing the I married for love thing? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, focus, all right? The key to dating the undesirable is visualization, all right? Now, it's the end of the evening, and Karen, who is totally smitten with me at this point, thank you very much, <laughs> awaits a good night smooch. Oh, Lord, Jack, I just reapplied. <laughs> and as she leans in, leaning, thank you, <laughs> I don't see Karen, I see Dawson's Creek heartthrob James Vanderbeek. This is an image that works for me, okay? <laughs> Utilizing my powers of concentration, I am now able to kiss James. I mean, Karen. <laughs> no, I mean James. <laughs> See? Any disgust I may feel is now eased by visualization. You know, I think I may join you for lunch. Because here comes breakfast. I know what you mean. Politically, I'm tolerant of the heterosexual lifestyle, but the actual act is rather revolting. 